Hey guys, so I am going to do a quick unboxing of a new bag. I don't know if I'm going to actually use this footage, but uh, yeah, I just figured I'd film it because I have an unboxing from Joseph and Stacy, and this is actually a brand that's based out in Korea. They do handbags that are genuine leather, and then they have like some cloth bags and everything else along the lines of purses and some accessories and I found out actually about them through D. Levine and Kat LSM. I saw that they got a few purses from them and I was like oh they're kind of that's how the, I got introduced to the brand and I was like those are kind of quirky and unique so then I kind of forgot about it because I was like last year and then um then I saw In The Seams post a video on like how to like style different blazers and she was wearing this white Joseph and Stacy bag and I absolutely fell in love. I was gonna, I like was gonna immediately purchase it but then I remembered like Kat, Ellis, Kat and Dee both got their bags sent to them from the company and I figured I do purse reviews and I've never ever have done this before. Every time I get items from people I either purchase it for my own money um, and I'll tell you or uh, they will send it to me to review and let me give you guys my honest reviews so that like is usually the case however in this case I felt like so compelled to ask them um, I actually reached out to Joseph and Stacy and, and asked them if I could review this bag because I was so interested in it but I was not familiar with their company too much I have lived in Korea for uh, 10 years almost when I was in middle school at, no not 10 years I lived there for six years, so middle school and high school, and I went to an international school. And yeah, so I was surrounded by people from all over the world, but I was very much exposed to Korean culture. A lot of times people have the stigma where things made in Asia are cheap, and that's not necessarily true. They have a lot of good quality items, and also they have really unique style as you can tell with Korean fashion, Japanese, Chinese fashion. So anyways I really wanted to give this brand a shot but I wasn't feeling comfortable just yet purchasing from them. Um, a lot of Korean movie stars will wear this brand and this bag and so I reached out to them and asked if I could actually review their bag and tell you guys my honest feedback. They said I need to wear it for two more weeks for two weeks before I give you guys my feedback. So I am just including in this unboxing on my own to give you guys my first impressions. So yeah, pretty bold, right? I could have said, they could have totally said no, but I just really wanted to try out their brand. Okay, so it comes wrapped, and they were so nice about it too. And then, you could already smell the leather. It comes in this dust bag, it's cute. It has, it's like made out of, I think linen maybe? And um, like a red little stitching, and it says, Joseph and Stacy right there, and here is the bag. Oh, yeah, it really smells like leather. And then, oh my gosh, that's really cute, guys. Oh my. Okay, <laughs> so the reason I really wanted this bag was first off, it was white. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And it has that little sticker, I'm gonna take off the sticker. And it has like a metal scissors. It looks, it's all leather and croc embossed. It's not like shiny, tacky, patent leather. It's actual like soft matte leather. And it looks like it's magnetic right here. Ooh, the lining is suede. And there's, and then it comes with like, you know, the wrapping on the inside stuff, which I like. The inside is like a cloth, cotton, I'm not sure, but oh, this is so cute. So, and then there's another little front pocket in the front that's a button and you can put like your phone and other things. Again, that is cloth as well and then looks like suede or something on the top, maybe not suede, maybe like a, I don't know, some kind of cloth. So what I really liked about this was that you can wear it like so uniquely so there's like a little ring that you push in through here through the hole on the top and then you connect this little cute handle which wait let me do it I can't let me put it down so you like clasp it in there and you hold the bag 
like this, like that. And you can cinch it like this. And there's a little Joseph and Stacy in the front. I'm not sure you'll be able to see that. The stitching's really very nice. And so that's so cute. But it also comes with a belt bag, like a belt. So you can also wear it as actual purse like this and it also in the back you can put the little strap through here in the back and it can be a belt bag oh my goodness oh my goodness I'm so excited because I actually have event to go to tonight uh, I'm going to the grand like the like the soft opening of ideal image which is a medical spa they're gonna do like free um, facials and demonstrations and so I'm going to go there with um, with my friend Jade she's like the owner of ladies of Denver and yeah so she invited me to go to this opening and uh, yeah this is so cute and then I'm gonna wear it tonight actually because I actually it's funny because I was willing it I was like I hope this bag comes for tonight because I have an outfit that would totally match with it and um, I was like, please, please, I hope it comes tonight because it's raining as well. And I think the belt bag would like be a perfect little. Ah. Anyways, now, so yeah, you just slip it through the back and it's really easy to um, be a little belt bag. And then you can wear it as a regular purse too. But I really like it like this. It looks quite spacious, so I'm excited. Anyways, I don't want to go on about, um, about it anymore because I'm going to give it Oh, and there's like a little strap on the bottom too. I'm not sure what that is for. Um, and little straps right here. So cute. I like it. Okay, but anyways, I'm going to give it a two-week review to see if I actually like it. Like, uh, the pros and cons. And then I'll come back and let you guys know. Alright, see you in a little bit. Alright guys, so I am here at ideal image I don't think you're gonna be able to hear me but it is they just opened in this location in uh, Colorado Boulevard across the street from Mercedes so if you're in the Denver location I actually really like the staff here and um, they're super helpful and they do facials they do ultra therapy they do uh, full sculpting they got a few little products for us this is what is it called Jade? LMS. LMS. I'm actually here with Jade. But anyways guys, I'm just gonna do a quick little thing. This is ideal image. They're so nice. Oh I like her. Look how nice she is. <laughs> She's pretty. <laughs> They're doing like free facials and they did free Botox and stuff like that. They're really sweet here. If I'm gonna get work done, I'm definitely gonna check it out here. Very sweet. But really good location guys. Um, across Barnes and Nobles. And yeah. All right, guys, I didn't get to finish the night last night, but I had such a fantastic time at Ideal Image. Thank you so much, Jade, for inviting me to that event. So while at that grand opening, or the soft opening, they were giving out uh, facials, free facials, and free Botox. And I have done Botox in the past. I've done it twice. The last time I did it, it was in November, uh, wait, November? I did it in November of 2018 and then summer of 2018 and I was I did it in Texas when I was visiting my mom she's like pro Botox oh, someone's calling me hello anyway so she um they were doing free so my mom's pro botox anyway so she was like you need to do it to pre prevent it so I tried it to get rid of these little like these little um to prevent these little wrinkles right here and then a little bit of that and so i honestly don't really need it but it is preventative in my case and if you look at some of my older videos like in november and kind of like towards the end of summer like the way that they do it is like when they put the botox right here 
it relaxes these muscles and then when you put it right here or something it like goes like this so it was like this weird combination of like <laughs> I don't know how to explain it it was just I don't think that I think I had too much even though I did really light and I just didn't like the way I looked I have hooded eyes anyway so it's kind of making my eyes like this all the time and like that combination you'll see so I didn't like it um but whatever it wears off so I was like ooh, I had no idea they're gonna do free Botox so instead of doing the facial I signed up for Botox and what I really like so they said no <laughs> So I filled out all this paperwork and everything and they said they won't do Botox on me and I was like that's interesting because I've done Botox in the past like twice and the reason is um, and I really actually like this because Ideal Image holds to standards and sticks to strict standards um, so like there it hasn't breastfeeding so I'm still breastfeeding at night even though at least three um, I still breastfeed like at night with her once in a while and yeah you guys probably think that's strange but I've done tons of research on it and I'm very pro breastfeeding so I know um, that I'm doing good for her especially with her kidney and uh, anyways we could if you guys want to have a whole conversation about breastfeeding past like one and two years old we can so anyways um yeah so they said no they're like no we can't do it and they were so nice about it and so I definitely know that when I am done breastfeeding that I will go back because I like that they upheld the like strict standards at the place that I went into in San Antonio they even though it hasn't been tested on breastfeeding women they're like oh well there's no proof that it's not good for you so they still did it but I much prefer and I had no idea I should have done research back then so I do feel bad but I just followed the the doctor and the PA's like judgment and so now going to ideal image and them saying no I can't have Botox uh, really has like opened up my perspective and like I'm like oh I need to do more research on it and I should have done that in the beginning but they told me first off that it was fine that I got Botox while breastfeeding so uh, thank you ideal image for upholding the strict standards and practices and I definitely will go back uh, check them out guys on Colorado we got little bags definitely not sponsored or they're not paying me or anything so this is just my honest opinion I we got a little ideal image um, little bag and then we got some like products from Elemis so some pro collagen cleansing balm which is from the UK so Jade is from the UK so she's very familiar with it anti-aging pro collagen and some chapstick and then ooh, this is a papaya enzyme pill so I'm really excited to try it and uh, yeah so I had such a great time. I didn't really film us uh, drinking wine. We went to Quality Italian on Cherry Creek. Oh, I had this ice cream chocolate cake that was Ferraro, like what is it? Rochero Ferraro chocolate, but they made it into ice cream form. But anyways, at least calling me. I just wanted to kind of close it out from last night and then yeah, anyway. Okay, I'm coming. Okay, I'll let you guys go.